I'll see you in hell. Stupid, stupid Kate is a president. Late night television has always been a captivating platform, hosting an array of extraordinary figures from the showbiz industry. Today we embark on a journey as we delve into the TV moments that held our focus even after the credits rolled. From interviews that took hilarity to the greatest heights, to instants that reshaped the boundaries of acceptability on the airwaves, these guests seized your undivided attention. Here are the 20 late night show guests who made it impossible to look away. Number 20. David Letterman In the middle of his usual comedic monologue and the famed Top 10 list, the 62-year-old comedian shared a personal story with his live studio audience. He recounted a three-week ordeal during which someone tried to blackmail him for $2 million, threatening to expose his affairs with female members of his staff. Letterman's demeanor fluctuated between humor, seriousness, and occasional nervousness as he described the ordeal to an audience that reacted with a mix of applause and laughter. He disclosed that he had found a disturbing package in his car one morning, prompting him and his legal counsel to contact the Manhattan District Attorney's Office for help. The District Attorney's Office verified the authenticity of the blackmailer's threats, devised a plan involving a counterfeit check, and successfully arrested the culprit. He was identified as Robert Halderman, a 51-year-old Emmy-winning producer employed by CBS who had worked on the show 48 Hours. It was later revealed that Halderman had recently lived with Stephanie Burkett, Letterman's personal assistant and an occasional character on his show. Allegedly, extracts from Burkett's diaries were included in the incriminating package. The motive behind this extortion attempt was, quite comically, the threat of turning Letterman's actions into a screenplay. Letterman explained on air that this man was going to take all of the terrible stuff he knows about his life and put it in a movie. During the confession, Letterman was visibly terrified and guilty. While trying to move past this experience, he expressed the need to protect his family, his own reputation, and his job. However, the revelation that he had engaged in relationships with employees or those under his management opened the door to sexual harassment lawsuits, both for him and for CBS. This startling confession gave the network's legal team plenty of reasons to lose sleep right there. Letterman's unanticipated revelation didn't just provide material for other comedians to make jokes out of. It also probably left him questioning his choice of naming his production company Worldwide Pants. In the end, Letterman's family and career remained secure. But if you think that Letterman's case was messed up, wait till you see what the next person did. Number 19, Andy Dick. Before his arrest for sexual battery, Andy Dick made headlines in 2007 for an incident involving Ivanka Trump on Jimmy Kimmel Live. In the footage, a 52-year-old Dick greeted Trump and host Jimmy Kimmel and inappropriately touched her legs while making a comment about the glitter on them. Trump, who was 36 at the time, looked shocked but tried to laugh it off while Kimmel intervened, asking Dick not to touch Ivanka. Kimmel even humorously warned that Donald Trump would be unhappy with their interaction. Security eventually removed Dick from the stage. After the episode aired, Kimmel explained that Dick had been a little out of it and had wanted to kiss Ivanka. He recounted escorting Dick out, emphasizing that Dick wasn't upset or apologetic, simply describing him as nutty. In December 2017, Andy brought up the incident on his Instagram account, offering a bizarre explanation. He claimed that he was jokingly carried off by security and that he had mistakenly thought Ivanka would date him. However, Dick's actions have not been limited to this incident. In 2018, he was facing legal action after being charged with misdemeanor sexual assault and simple battery related to a separate incident in Los Angeles. This case involved allegations that he assaulted a woman twice and made derogatory comments toward her. Andy, in an October 2017 article of The Hollywood Reporter, revealed that he had harassed people in multiple ways on the set of The Independent, feature Raising Buchanan. He was also fired from the low-budget comedy Vampire Dad after similar allegations. Dick has denied some of the groping accusations but admitted to licking people and making propositions. Number 18. Madonna 
The superstar's appearance on David Letterman's show in 1993 was anything but ordinary. This was a time before her British transformation, and her entrance was a blend of Hollywood's golden era and the rebellion of New York CBGB's punk scene. As soon as she strolled in, she greeted Letterman by dubbing him as the man who has his finger on the pulse of total strangers. But from here on, it only gets worse. The interview started with a humorous taunt, as Madonna said that she was only there because a Knicks game wasn't airing. However, what seemed like a typical talk show segment took an unexpected turn when David asked Madonna to kiss a man in the audience. Madonna refused and decided to drop an F-bomb, a daring move on television at the time. Throughout the interview, Madonna artfully evaded and redirected every question David threw at her, leaving him visibly flustered. Her charisma was contagious and the audience was captivated by her presence. The exchange between the two involved witty banter and numerous awkward silences, creating a strange yet addictive atmosphere. Madonna didn't hold back, calling out David for prying into her intimacy habits and accusing him of excessive flattery towards his guests. But Madonna's bold behavior on the show was not without context. In the lead-up to her appearance, Letterman had indulged in a series of jokes about her liberated intimate life, and Madonna took notice. She addressed it by saying that he can't get through a single show without talking about her, or at least thinking about her. Now, Madonna's confrontation was intense, but wait till you see just how unexpected the next one was. Number 17. Nicole Kidman Jimmy Fallon's interview with Nicole Kidman began with them remembering things from the past. Jimmy told the audience about his recollection of a prior encounter with the Hollywood star. However, the conversation took a turn when Kidman revealed something no one had known before. She confessed to having a genuine interest in Jimmy and her desire to explore the possibility of dating him. In pursuit of this romantic adventure, she had even approached a mutual friend to help set them up. Apparently, the meeting finally happened, but Jimmy's focus was far from the romantic hangout Nicole had been hoping for. Instead, he was more preoccupied with playing video games in his apartment, which derailed any potential sparks between them. It was a moment that could have changed their lives forever, but ended in a missed opportunity. Years later, Nicole Kidman shared this revelation on Jimmy's own show, catching him off guard. He was not only flustered, but left short-circuited by the recollection of his past mistake. Things got so heated that Jimmy had to sprawl out on a couch and think about his life, while all of this unfolded on live television. Speaking of intensity, the next late-night show guest took things way too far. Number 16, Andy Kaufman. Back in 1982, an episode of Late Night with David Letterman hosted Jerry the King, Lawler, and Kaufman, but putting them on screen together proved to be a bad idea. Kaufman, known for his unique stand-up comedy, took an unexpected turn in his career by becoming a wrestler. His wrestling persona included scripted performances, distinctive storylines, and over-the-top personalities, all reflecting his sense of humor. Behind the scenes, Lawler and Kaufman were friends and collaborators, but in the public eye, they played rivals. Kaufman regularly taunted Lawler and his hometown of Memphis. However, it was all part of their spectacle, with Kaufman still wearing a neck brace when they appeared on Letterman's show. During the televised interview, Lawler couldn't resist delivering a series of taunts, humorously suggesting that Kaufman's parents were both satisfied with his gender at birth. Kaufman, initially soft-spoken, claimed that Lawler was merely playing the role of a bad guy wrestler. He even asked for an apology from Lawler, who dismissed it, accusing Kaufman of seeking attention and that his injuries weren't real. Somewhere in between, Lawler slapped Kaufman, and things went off the rails. Tensions escalated during the interview to the point that Kaufman hinted at legal action over his supposed injuries, but nothing has been etched into our memories like the next guest appearance we're going to show you. Number 15, Drew Barrymore. On April 12, 1995, Letterman celebrated his 48th birthday in a very memorable way, thanks to actress Drew Barrymore. At the time, Barrymore was a former child star who had recently turned 20. Her career was thriving, with movies like Boys on the Side, Mad Love, and Batman Forever on the horizon. Letterman began the interview by discussing her recent birthday. Barrymore shared that it was the first birthday she had truly enjoyed. 
The conversation then took a surprising turn when Letterman asked about rumors of her visit to a New York club called The Blue Angel, known for its provocative performances. Barrymore, who had previously posed nude for Playboy, admitted that she had performed a striptease for patrons at the club. Letterman inquired further, and Barrymore decided to demonstrate what she had done that night. With Paul Schaffer providing the musical backdrop, she climbed onto Letterman's desk, danced provocatively, and lifted her shirt, all while wishing him a happy birthday. The spontaneous performance was seen not only in the Ed Sullivan Theater, but also on a giant screen in Times Square. It became an iconic moment in late-night TV, marking a turning point in Letterman's late-show tenure. Looking back on the incident, Barrymore praised Letterman for his handling of the situation, stating that he made her feel comfortable during and after the impromptu dance. The two would jokingly reference the moment in her later appearances on the show as well. Number 14, Michael Richards. The Seinfeld star appeared on The Late Show with David Letterman to offer an apology and explanation for the racially offensive rant he went on during a stand-up comedy performance. The 57-year-old actor expressed deep regret for his outburst. He denied being a racist, defending himself with frustration in his voice. Richards recounted that he had spiraled into a rage due to audience members interrupting his act at the Laugh Factory in West Hollywood. But during the interview, Richards grew annoyed when the term Afro-American garnered laughter from the audience, making him question if it was the right platform to address the situation. This interview aired on the CBS show, along with a segment featuring Richards' former co-star, Jerry Seinfeld. Seinfeld had earlier expressed his distress over the incident and encouraged Richards to make a satellite appearance on Letterman's show to address it. While some in the audience chuckled during the rant, others gasped in disbelief, and a spectator pointed out that it was not funny, suggesting it might adversely affect Richards's career. But while these two went over the top, the next celebrity infuriated audiences by doing the exact opposite of that. Number 13, Joaquin Phoenix. Joaquin Phoenix portrays himself undergoing a public breakdown in pursuit of a rap career in his film titled, I'm Still Here. This is a biographical movie that he co-produced with Casey Affleck during their close friendship. The film stirred controversy, mostly because of allegations against Affleck during the filming process. Yet during that period, Joaquin remained deeply committed to his on-screen and off-screen persona. This dedication was evident during his 2009 appearance on Letterman's show. Joaquin maintained a low profile, offering mumbled responses and allowing David to playfully mock him and his unconventional behavior. It was annoying for viewers to watch and some of them thought it was rude for him to be behaving that way with the show's host. In later years, Joaquin returned to the show seemingly as a gesture of reconciliation, and it appears that their relationship has since improved. However, when the interview with the Joker actor initially aired, it was a topic of widespread discussion. Number 12. Crispin Glover In 1987, during the promotion of his movie River's Edge, Crispin Glover made the strangest appearance on Letterman's late-night show. He sported platform shoes, long striped pants, and unusually long hair. Things got weird when Glover offered to arm wrestle Letterman, which the latter declined. But then, Glover delivered a kick only inches away from Letterman's face, after which he ended the segment for good. Glover's behavior raised suspicions of recreational drug use. But in a 2014 radio interview, Glover clarified that it was not drug-induced. Instead, it was an attempt to redirect the interview that seemed to be going off course. But this has never entirely justified his conduct. Several years later, in 1991, Glover released a film titled Reuben and Ed. On another Letterman appearance, he came in dressed as his character from the movie and portrayed the character throughout the interview. It became apparent that Glover was essentially embodying a caricature, Given his relatively lower profile compared to other celebrities, his appearance could be seen as a precursor to Joaquin Phoenix's unconventional interview in I'm Still Here. However, nothing had people talking like the next person on the list. Number 11. Marlon Brando Throughout his illustrious career, Larry King engaged in conversations with a multitude of notable figures, including Sir Paul McCartney, Barack Obama, Oprah, Prince, Elizabeth Taylor, and Frank Sinatra. However, 
One of the interviews that left a lasting impression on him was the encounter with Marlon Brando. In 1994, King paid a visit to the iconic actor at his Los Angeles residence, a week after sharing lunch with him. Brando, it seemed, had reluctantly agreed to the interview, and not without a condition. He wanted to have a pre-interview lunch with the host. Although King typically directed the conversations in his interviews, Brando adopted a more playful approach. He interrupted King's questions, playfully pinched his nose, and even persuaded King to join him in a duet before leaning in for an unexpected on-the-lips kiss. This encounter continued to resonate with King for years. Reflecting on the experience, he praised Brando as a brilliant and marvelous individual, so it seems like none of them minded the kiss. But this wasn't nearly as unexpected as the behavior of the next person on the list. Number 10. Angie Harmon During an interview with Jay Leno, actress Angie Harmon had an unexpected turn of events. It started like every other interview, with small talk and Leno setting the tone for the rest of the talk. Her father was among the audience, and Jay, in his typically candid style, decided to inquire about her relationship status. That made Angie almost instantly uncomfortable, and she claimed that she doesn't normally talk about her personal life. Still, she confirmed that she was dating someone. Seizing the moment, Jay spontaneously called Jason onto the stage. Harmon was just as confused as everybody else, but still clapped as her boyfriend made his way to the stage. But what happened next changed everything. Jason, a former Giants cornerback, dropped to one knee and, before a live audience, proposed to Angie. It had people swooning when she enthusiastically accepted the proposal. Angie stood there, with her hands covering her mouth. She barely had any words to speak as Jason put a ring on her. This impromptu act of love led to a marriage that endured for a substantial 15 years, spanning from 2001 to 2016. But while some late-night show guests spread love, others can't stop picking beef with the hosts. Number 9. Hugh Grant In June of 1995, this man was still an up-and-coming movie star about to launch his major film, Nine Months. That's when he encountered a legal issue. The police arrested him for engaging in sexual activity with Divine Brown, a well-known Hollywood S asterisk asterisk worker, in a public place. Grant chose to plead no contest to the charges, but the incident was so infamous that it spread like wildfire, dominating headlines. Scheduled to appear on The Tonight Show to promote his upcoming movie, Grant confronted Jay Leno amid the brewing scandal. To Leno's credit, he didn't tiptoe around the issue. Instead, he posed the question that was on everyone's mind. What were you thinking? In such situations, many celebrities offer a laundry list of excuses or claim innocence, urging viewers to wait for all the facts. However, Grant took a different approach by being candid. He didn't make excuses, and he openly admitted to his wrongdoing, describing it as a bad thing. In this context, his honesty was refreshing. This candid exchange between Leno and Grant brought forth a rare moment of vulnerability and authenticity in the world of celebrity interviews. It showed that taking responsibility for your actions isn't a bad thing after all. Number 8. Richard Branson In 2007, billionaire Richard Branson appeared on the Colbert Report to promote his new venture, Virgin America Airlines. After a brief chat with Colbert, the segment ended without Branson getting a chance to promote his airline by name. It appeared that Branson might have felt shortchanged, and in a moment of frustration, he playfully splashed Colbert with water from his mug. Both Colbert and Branson managed to hide their true feelings of annoyance, but the tension was evident from their expressions. To settle the score, Colbert retaliated by having a staffer fetch a bottle of water, which he used to reciprocate the splash, ending the tension that had plagued the entire segment. There have been speculations that the incident may have been staged, and even to this day, it remains unclear whether it was a spontaneous moment or a prearranged stunt. But if you think this was mean, wait till you get to know about the next guest on this list. Number 7. John Stewart Known for his no-nonsense approach on The Daily Show, this guy had an absolute showdown with Mad Money host Jim Cramer in March 2009. Leading up to the interview, Stewart had been criticizing Kramer extensively, and the tension was palpable when Kramer finally appeared on the show. Unprepared for the impending roasting, Kramer faced Stewart's pointed questions about his inaccuracies, prompting Kramer to admit his shortcomings. 
The episode was marked by its intense back and forth, with Kramer's plea for Stewart to go easier on him falling flat. It was a controversial episode, and it drew huge viewership, becoming the second most watched in the history of The Daily Show. The fallout was so significant that CNBC ratings declined in the days following the interview. But this isn't the only time that a guest boldly talked back to the host, as you'll see with the next guest on the list. Number 6. Paris Hilton. In 2007, Paris Hilton captured the nation's attention when her legal issues led to a jail sentence for driving with a suspended license. Once released, the star of The Simple Life was eager to put this chapter behind her and refocus on her career, particularly her clothing line and the launch of a new fragrance. To promote her new ventures, Hilton appeared on David Letterman's show. Yet, within moments of the interview, she likely regretted her choice as the conversation turned awkward. Letterman wasted no time and launched into questions about her time in jail, which Hilton initially tried to brush off with a chuckle. However, Letterman persisted, bombarding her with further inquiries and making light of her incarceration. In frustration, Hilton finally admonished Letterman, asserting that she had moved forward with her life and preferred not to discuss it any longer. Despite her plea, Letterman continued to press the issue, turning the segment into one of the most uncomfortable interviews in television history. It's time for today's subscriber pick. Here's a picture from a recent late-night show that left everyone gaping at their TV screens. This lovely woman sat in her seat in front of the host, talking about her friendships with some of the most well-known celebrities of this time. But then, something hilarious happened. She almost flashed the entire audience by accident. Her top was a risky choice to begin with, but she had probably never anticipated for this to happen on live TV. Could she have prevented the little nip slip? Would it have been better for viewership if they had cut this part out of the coverage? Or better yet, was this little mishap staged? Remember to comment down below and let us know what you think. Now on to the next topic. Number 5. Harrison Ford In 2013, before Harrison Ford's anticipated return to the Star Wars franchise in The Force Awakens, Jimmy Kimmel couldn't resist quizzing him about it. Ford, who had distanced himself from the franchise over the years, usually avoided Star Wars discussions. He rebuffed Kimmel's inquiry with a firm refusal to talk about it. Kimmel then decided to entertain the audience by soliciting questions for Ford, but emphasized that Star Wars queries were off-limits. However, this playful interlude took an unexpected turn when Chewbacca, our beloved Wookiee, rose from the audience and confronted Ford. The exact cause of their heated exchange remained unclear, but it humorously suggested that Chewbacca had been involved with Ford's spouse. The segment concluded with an incensed Ford walking away, leaving the audience both bewildered and amused by their strange encounter. While some guests take things to heart, others know how to keep it lighthearted, exactly like the next guest on the list. Number 4. Barack Obama Jimmy Kimmel's famous Mean Tweets series features various celebrities reading and reacting to harsh comments from Twitter trolls. These videos entertain audiences as stars acknowledge the often unkind online remarks, usually responding in good spirits or even striking back. However, one Mean Tweets segment stood out from the rest when it featured President Obama. As a two-term president, Obama endured his fair share of criticism, but he took it a step further by publicly acknowledging some of the most vicious insults. It was clear that Obama possessed a great sense of humor as he participated in this lighthearted bit. He delivered each mean tweet with comedic finesse, even sharing a laugh at the absurdity of some insults. What was particularly enjoyable was when he fired back with witty retorts to the commenters. Sadly, as his presidency ended, we missed out on seeing him in more of these entertaining segments. But we still have plenty of other guests to keep us entertained, like the next superstar. Number 3. Matt Damon In 2008, Matt Damon found himself at the center of a long-running gag on Jimmy Kimmel Live. The recurring joke revolved around Kimmel running out of time and never managing to hold an interview with Damon. Damon, in response, had always promised to get his revenge for being consistently snubbed by Kimmel. To amplify the sting of revenge, Damon enlisted the help of Sarah Silverman, who was Kimmel's girlfriend at the time. 
Together, they orchestrated an unforgettable payback on national TV. Their plan involved Silverman admitting to cheating on Kimmel with none other than Matt Damon. Silverman even went the extra mile by confessing that she had composed a song about the whole thing. The shocking revelation unfolded on an episode of The Late Night Show. It was completely unexpected, even for Kimmel himself, who struggled to hide his genuine discomfort behind forced smiles. While this was just a joke between friends, the next guest had the most serious mishap in reality. Number 2. Heidi Klum Heidi Klum's 2003 appearance on The Tonight Show with Jay Leno was set to be unforgettable. She was slated to perform a real strip tease on live television and adorned herself with a diamond-studded bra from Victoria's Secret. This was a piece valued at $8 million, paired with matching $3 million knickers. Every detail here was real, with no fabrication. But just before the planned strip tease, an unexpected hiccup arose during Lino's interview with Klum. Mid-conversation, she abruptly halted and expressed her suspicion that her luxurious bra had come undone beneath her shirt. Caught in a moment of uncertainty, Klum clutched her shirt, unsure how to proceed. Comedian Martin Short happened to be another guest on the show, and together with Lino, they improvised a solution. Using their suit jackets, they shielded Klum from the studio audience, affording her the discretion to reclasp her bra. Their genuine concern for her well-being seemed overshadowed by the temptation to sneak a glimpse of the wardrobe malfunction. So the show briefly paused, providing the necessary privacy to address the situation. As scheduled, to the audience's delight, the strip tease still happened later in the show. But nobody has had it worse than the next guest on this list. Number 1. Richard Simmons This man might be a delightful character for some, but he can be a little overwhelming for others. His flamboyant persona and boundless energy could easily push the boundaries of tolerance. One person who appeared annoyed by Simmons's antics was late-night talk show host Letterman. In 2006, during a particular visit to Letterman's show, Simmons was on a mission to promote a food steamer. However, discomfort was thick in the air. As Simmons tried to explain the product, Letterman couldn't resist poking fun at him. The real surprise came later in the interview. As Simmons began demonstrating the operation of the steamer, he pressed the power button, resulting in a dramatic release of smoke. Within moments, the steamer went up in flames, sending Simmons into a panicked retreat from his chair, his enthusiasm replaced by sheer terror. Remarkably, Letterman remained seated, laughing heartily, for he had orchestrated the entire incident as part of an elaborate prank. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.